Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today on my back, I have the Gregory Miwok 24 backpack. This is a day pack that I've been testing out for the last six months or so, and it is time to pass on my review to you all. Just in case you don't know, the Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda free. No store, no affiliate dollars, no commissions, nothing like that. Here at the channel, my job is not to influence anyone of anything. I simply provide you all with the information that you need so that you can go out and make the best decision for yourself. And with that being the case, let's get to the review now. The cost of this pack retail is $120. The weight of this pack is 1.85 pounds. And as I mentioned before, this is the 24 liter. You can also find this in 12, 18, 32, and 42 liters. There is a female version from Gregory, which will be reviewed here on the channel very soon. Now this is the 2019 version of this pack. There are older versions and also there will be new versions of this pack. Each generation presents new colors and at the time of filming, you can find this in gray, blue, red, and flame black. What you see here is flame black. In my opinion, it's not really black. There's more gray to it. Some of the fabric is dark, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily black by any means. Talking about materials here for a second, the pack body is a 210 denier honeycomb crypto rip HD nylon. That's a mouthful. The bottom of the pack is 420D high density nylon. The lining of the pack is a 135D polyester. And also when it comes to the zippers, those are YKK. And with the suspension system, that is a 3D perforated EVA foam. The weight capacity of this pack is 25 pounds. It is 24 liters, which is roughly 1,465 cubic inches worth of space. And this pack is fully adjustable as far as the suspension system goes. We might as well talk about that for a second. This pack will fit torso lengths from 16 inches to 21 inches. When it comes to the hips, 28 inches to 48 inches. And the pack dimensions are 20.5 by 10.5 by 9 inches wide. It is hydration compatible, has numerous pockets, and is a top loading backpack. So let's take a look at the pack and all of its features and functions. Here on the side, you have a compression strap, a stretchy water bottle pocket. Going to the front, you have another stretchy mesh pocket. It has a clip here to secure it. This is very good size and this can stretch out quite a bit. Down here at the bottom of the pack, you have gear loops. Here in the middle, you have shock cord, so you can tighten up your trekking poles and whatnot. This side of the pack is exactly the same. You have the stretchable water bottle pocket and a compression strap. Taking a look at the bottom of the pack, it is completely flat. You have a loop right here, so you can attach a reflector when you're out biking. Going up from the stretchy pocket, you have a small pocket right here for cell phones. It is very soft lined. It's not quite a velvet, but it's very soft. So you don't have to worry about scratching the screen of your phone and it's plenty big. Up above that, you have the main pocket. Up at the top, you have a mesh zippered pocket. And that's pretty much it for the main portion of the pack. Going up here, this is the hydration section of the pack. You have a clip for your hydration bladder and you have a sleeve that goes all the way down. Right here is your hydration port and that is in the center of the backpack. At the top here, you have your grab handle, you have your suspension system, you have straps all over the place so you can dangle and attach any sort of equipment, such as GPS units, sunglasses, and whatnot. Adjustable sternum strap right there. There is no whistle, and that's okay in my book. You have the back of the pack, which features a lot of mesh. This is very, very breathable and also comfortable. You have the waist belt, you have mesh all the way around with some foam padding in between. It's fully adjustable as you would expect and you have two waist belt pockets. Talking about the suspension system here for a second, this is known as the BioSync suspension system. And with the torso length, as mentioned, it is fully adjustable. You have this piece of Velcro right here and it goes all the way down to this and check that out. You can essentially move this up or lower it, depending on your specific needs. Now it is time to get to my review. And folks, I do apologize for the wind noise. I will try to edit that out. Okay, starting with the pros. As I mentioned before, I have been testing this out for about six months now. And this pack really has become my go-to day bag. 
I like this pack. In fact, I love it. It's super comfortable. There's plenty of space. You can adjust it for different torso lengths. It has lots of pockets. It's hydration compatible. And if you don't use that hydration sleeve, you can use that space for something else. You can put your rain gear in there if you want to. The pack itself is lightweight. It's less than two pounds. And once you put this on, it really does become a part of your body. It really does fit you like a turtle shell. The weight limit stated by Gregory is 25 pounds for this pack, and that is accurate. At 25 pounds, the thin padding here on the shoulder harness begins to wear just a little bit. The hydration pockets are excellent. The compression straps, perfect. You have a nice assortment of pockets, this front pocket here, which is soft lined, plenty big for your cell phone, your keys, and other items. One of my favorite features to this pack is this front meshy stretchy pocket. You could fit a full size helmet inside of this, a biking helmet, and it fits perfectly so you can go hiking around. You don't have to leave that helmet behind. The main portion of the pack is very large and it can fit quite a bit of gear inside of it. The internal fabric is high visibility so you can see items inside even in low light. Because there are so many pockets on this backpack, you have plenty of storage options. So you can organize your gear any way that you want to. The back of the pack does offer good ventilation, but you will still get wet with sweat if you push yourself hard enough or if it's warm enough outside. In my opinion, this is a good looking pack. I like this color combo and some of the viewers must as well because I've received numerous emails about this. Moving on to the cons, I have three. First off, the price is a little bit high for this pack retail. 120 bucks is a little bit high. Luckily, you can find deals and sales all day long. With that being said, the quality of the materials is excellent. You have the best of the best in terms of zippers, so you do get what you pay for. Next up, we have to talk about comfort. With lower weights, this pack is very comfortable, but once you get up to that higher end, the 25 pound mark, it becomes less comfortable. Lastly, there is no rain cover included for this pack. And that is an important aspect for any day pack. You need to have a way to protect your gear. And with all of that being said, everyone, that wraps up my review of the Gregory Miwok 24 pack. Did I say that right? That could be another con for the pack is the name. Personally, I don't like it very much, Miwok. I always want to say like, we walk. It's something that I don't remember very easily. It's not something that just rolls off of your tongue. Me walk. This is an excellent backpack, an excellent day pack. This is something that, as I mentioned before, I reach for just about every single time that I'm going out for a day trip, for a day hike. It's awesome for biking. It's great for hiking. It's extremely comfortable. The quality is fantastic. It looks good. I have no real complaints for this backpack. And with that, I will wrap up this video. Please hit the like button because it does help a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember, the Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda free. No commissions, no affiliate links. I don't do Amazon, none of that stuff. If you go out and purchase this pack, I get no money. I'm here to supply information and that is it. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can do so through Patreon. That is appreciated. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. Also, if you have a question, email me. See ya.